Let's have a look at the reciprocal functions. So what is a reciprocal? A reciprocal is another word for saying the inverse. So the reciprocal functions, and in this case we are specifically referring to the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios which we had a look at in the previous video. So the inverse of theta is of course if you if you invert it. So the, the inverse of sine of theta is equal to the cosecant of theta. The inverse of cosine is equal to secant and then the inverse of tangent is equal to cotangent. So these are the reciprocals to the sine, cosine and tangent ratios. We can then also define these as reciprocals for any right angled triangle. Same as what we did with the sine of theta, cosine and the tangent of theta where we had a look at the right angled triangle and then with the sides in relation to the angle theta. So you'll remember that the hypotenuse is the side opposite the 90 degree angle. Then we have the adjacent side and of course the opposite side. So then in order to define these as reciprocals for a right angled triangle, let's use our mnemonic that we had a look at in the previous video, which was SOKATOA. And this mnemonic of course refers to, to sine, cosine and tangent. So we will have to use the inverse of this for the reciprocal functions. So first we'll have a look at cosecant, which is the inverse of sine. So cosecant would then be the hypotenuse. Let's write that out. The hypotenuse over the opposite side. Then we'll have a look at the reciprocal for cosine, which is of course secant. Secant is then the hypotenuse over the adjacent angle. Hypotenuse over the adjacent. And then finally, the reciprocal for tangent is cotangent. We will then just swap the toa part around. And then we will have the adjacent side over the opposite side. So the cotangent of theta is then the adjacent over the opposite side. Also note that we could then say that the sine of theta multiplied by the cosecant of theta is equal to 1. So that would of course be in this case if I were to multiply both sides of the equation by the sine of theta then on this side, of course, they would cancel each other out. And on the other side of the equation, we would have cosecant multiplied by the sine of theta is equal to 1. And this is, of course, the same for the cosine of theta multiplied by the secant of theta is equal to 1. And the tangent of theta multiplied by 
the cotangent of theta is also equal to 1.